I owe a lot of credit to um, my coach in New Orleans, who was my shooting coach. Um, I owe him a lot because he he turned my career around for sure. How do you coach Fred? I, I, like I said, I owe him everything. Uh, I remember first coming to New Orleans. I get there, I'm working out, I'm shooting around, he's rebounding for me. I'm doing what I always do. About three, four days goes by, and he's like, "Yo, like." We about to change this. I'm like Lonzo Ball, ZO2, the Chino Hills prodigy, was on the podcast with Trey Young. We all know um, from the point podcast is an uh, unbelievable situation that Trey Young is doing, and he knew what he was doing having a guy like Lonzo on there. Obviously, we know that Lonzo don't pop out as much. He don't really do too much talking, but it's looking like Lonzo is about to start speaking now because there's a lot of things coming up with Lonzo that we must get into. Uh, number one, Lonzo spoke, had made many revelations. Uh, one of them I want to touch on right now is his relationship with Fred Vincent, Lonzo Ball made it very, very clear the importance of Fred Vincent to his career. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know who Fred Vincent is, he is the shooting coach, currently the shooting coach for the New Orleans Pelicans. I believe that Fred Vincent should be elevated, you know, to even a head coach. I, for, for whatever reason, I don't know why a lot of people are not going to see Fred Vincent. You know, Fred Vincent need to be working with players, you know, on and off the season. And, you know, obviously he's with the Pelicans, but off season he need to be. Everybody need to be trying to get up with Fred Vincent, especially guys who can't shoot. Lonzo Ball made it clear that without Fred, I mean, seriously, he changed it all. Fred Vincent was a game changer. And I like what he said, man. Lonzo Ball definitely paid homage to Mr. Vincent. No, I want to get into some shooting percentages, you know, because if you look back, Lonzo stated, you know, he knew how to shoot his entire life. You know, obviously going from middle school to high school, he was a sniper to come to the NBA where he couldn't shoot. It was just a reality check. It was pretty, you know, just crazy in my humble opinion. And I like that Lonzo was very vulnerable and was able to acknowledge these things that he was dealing with. You know, because most people, most players, they'll hide it. They'll bury that. You know, but Lonzo made it very clear that he was not, you know, worried. And he definitely spoke his piece. Now, Fred Vincent changed the game for Lonzo. We all know in UCLA, he was an uh, absolute sniper. We ain't going to get into what happened at Chino Hills. We spoke on that already. You know, Lonzo, when he was a rookie, he averaged, pardon me, he shot 30% from the three-point line line, pardon me, 30.5. His second year, 32.9. I want to stick to those two years for one second. Obviously, we all know his rookie year, you know, he had Kuzma and crew. That was pretty much his season, pretty much to just go crazy. And you've seen it. Lonzo Ball pretty much had all of the reins, you know, uh, in that rookie year. Obviously, he dealt with some injuries. There was some people on the team, B.I. You had a rookie coach in Luke Walton. We all know how that ended. We ain't going to get into it. Luke Walton, I think, would have lasted a lot longer if he would have um, emphasized a lot more with Lonzo. But we all know the situation with Luke. You know, Luke coming, his father, you know, and, you know, Lonzo coming in with his pops. It was, it, it was, a, it was just a recipe for disaster. And I hope Luke Walton one day opens up about what happened with Lonzo Ball. I hope it's one day where Luke has acknowledged that he was a young coach. You know, he was a, was a first time head coach. You know, you coaching a phenom in Lonzo Ball. You're not going to tell me it wasn't some kind of, you know, reality check he was trying to throw Lonzo. It wasn't some kind of something. You know, he definitely was trying to give it to Lonzo Ball, you know, uh, in my humble opinion. But that's neither here nor there. He even got his opportunity to coach De'Aaron Fox and did absolutely nothing. But I don't want to spend too much time on Mr. Fluke Walton. You know, when Lonzo Ball, that second year, when Lo when LeBron and everybody got there, obviously LeBron made sure everybody shot down at the, the three-point lane. That was his offense. You know, he going to spread everybody out, and he going to attack the basket, and he going to have everybody at his mercy. That's the LeBron James system. We all know this. You know, um, but give, give major credit to Lonzo Ball being able to adapt his game to any play style. You know, and when they had... Pardon me, LeBron and Rondo and everybody. 
Lonzo Ball elevated his game to being an effective three-point shooter on that team. Whatever the team needs, if, you, if you're going to hear this echo, echoing statement, whatever the team needs, Lonzo Ball provides it. You know, so I definitely want to point that out to the people, man. He's the truth. And a half, man. And listen, he, he was just improving. And then when, once he got traded, we all know it was um, a big situation with AD. You know, uh, I think that a lot of people that got moved. Obviously, Lonzo Ball and Kuzma, uh, Kuzma was able to stay, but he was supposed to be a part of that deal. Obviously, Ingram was the centerpiece, you know, uh, and then Hart and everybody like that. To be honest with you, the only thing the New Orleans Pelicans have from that deal is B.I. You know, that's their cornerstone, one of their cornerstones. I hope they treat him right. You know, but when Lonzo got with Fred Vincent in that third year, mind you, Brandon Ingram got with him too. And Lonzo touched on that, how Brandon Ingram was in the gym and he was getting shots up. But Fred Vincent elevated Lonzo Ball shooting, three-point shooting percentage all the way to 37.5. You know, in just a short amount of, matter of time, Lonzo Ball detailed what it was like when he basically got to New Orleans. You know, he was basically in the gym for a few days and Fred Vincent was just allowing him to do what he was doing. You know, um, that's what a good teacher does. A good teacher don't just come in and and just take over immediately. The good A good teacher going to allow you and watch you do what you do and then make some corrections and some changes, you know, but in the beginning. He's gonna allow. He's gonna allow you to do your thing, and I think that's what Fred Vincent was doing. Lonzo Ball was getting his shots up, and then he immediately just switched the jumper, and then you seen right away, you know what it was like. You know, uh, Lonzo spoke that basically the season was about to start too, and he basically shifted the shot. You know, like right, at, like right when the season was close to starting. And, but he's just said muscle memory, you know, and that's all shooting is, you know, is muscle memory, is repetition, you know, is all of that, you know. And Lonzo Ball, we all know he's gonna put the work in, you know. He's not, he's not gonna cheat the game, and you, you clearly see he didn't cheat the game because look at the improvement. And then obviously we get to the culmination. This is why he says he wants to thank Fred Vincent for his shooting and how he basically helped his whole entire career. Because number one, Lonzo Ball headed to Chicago where he basically had, I would say, arguably his best season, just just putting everything together. It may have been seasons where Lonzo scored. It may have been seasons where Lonzo assisted. He got triple-double. This was the first time where Lonzo was putting it all together. And I think it really sucks because, you know, we didn't get an opportunity to see it. And Lonzo spoke on that. And that's what we're going to speak on again. I want to discuss, you know, the pain that Lonzo Ball, you know, had to been feeling, you know, when he couldn't be a contributor for the Bulls when the Bulls desperately needed him you know they basically are just it's just a complete utter debacle without Lonzo Ball it doesn't even make sense but he shot it like I said he went all the way to 42.3 percent with Chicago and the rest is history you know, it's Flight Sports TV. Shout out to Lonzo Ball, ZO2, the Chino Hills prodigy. And shout out to Fred Vincent in New Orleans because y'all was a big impact on Lonzo Ball's career. As much people want to uh, culminate the New Orleans Pelicans thing is a Griffin thing. or it, The Pelicans trade was a bright spot in Lonzo's career. It was paramount because he was able to get with Fred Vincent that took his shooting to the next level. It's Flight Sports TV. Make sure you subscribe for more news updates and more. Peace and love.